Hello everyone, welcome to Anime Know Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. The One Piece Red movie is very close to being officially released in theaters, and we've gotten different images and information about this movie as it's been leaked little by little since we heard about its release. And based on some of the information already leaked, we're getting a bit more about the past and powers that Shanks has. Besides a small leak of the ending, where it shows a combined attack of Luffy and Shanks, what the most impressive thing about this scene is, is the technique that they use. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the One Piece Red movie leaks, what information we have so far, how powerful Shanks might be, and finally, some information about the amazing final leaked scene. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel or even if you've been around for a bunch of episodes, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like or even subscribe and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out and motivates us to make more content. And if you'd like to help us out in a bigger way, consider sharing the video or the channel with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So friends, the very first information that we have from this movie is that Shanks' bounty from 12 years ago was 1.04 billion berries, which is really similar to Luffy's before he managed to defeat Kaido. At the time of this just over 1 billion berry bounty, it's pretty likely that Shanks had not yet become a Yonko because his current reward, now as a Yonko, is 4.048 billion, which means that this was his reward before he had gotten his great fame in the world and earned that title of Yonko. Now, even though he didn't have the title of Yonko, and I mean, the title may not have even existed yet, we can already see that he was very well recognized worldwide. I mean, after all, pirates who have a bounty this high are famous in their own right. It was probably even during this time that Shanks and Mihawk had been doing their great duels in their quest to obtain the title of greatest swordsman in the world. And this was one of the reasons that led Shanks to actually become a Yonko in the future. As a former crew of Goldie Roger's ship, Shanks learned to use his hockey as well as the Pirate King, raising it to a level that we still haven't seen yet, allowing him to become as strong as Roger had been. It's said in the leaks that Shanks is known as the killer of observation hockey. Due to the fact that he makes it impossible for his opponent to predict the future or use future sight because of Shanks' unbelievable mastery of Ken Bushonku hockey. This proves that Shanks really has a much higher level of hockey than pretty much any pirate we've ever seen. And so far, he's the only one who possesses the ability to completely nullify his enemy's future sight. And this could easily be an advanced form of observation hockey because we've already seen that with armament hockey, people are able to not only coat their bodies, but they're also able to use an internal emission and destruction, what was called Ryo in Wano. We've also seen some advanced Conqueror's Hockey, which allows the user to infuse their Conqueror's Hockey into their attacks. But this has really been the only things that we've seen, so this revelation of Shanks's is a really special thing indeed. And this isn't just his ability to nullify his enemy's use of Future Sight. Not only does it make his opponent blind, Shanks still gets his own Future Sight. So he's gonna know everything that his enemy could do. And for all we know, it may go even further than the few seconds we've seen with Katakuri and Luffy. So Shanks' opponents would have to rely only on their natural reflexes to avoid Shanks' strikes. And let's be honest, Shanks is incredibly powerful in his own right, which is gonna make it all the more difficult to fight him. On top of that, with our latest chapters here in Wano, we've seen that Shanks also has an unbelievably powerful Conqueror's Hockey. And he can intimidate and even take an opponent's life by just controlling their breathing, which makes him an extremely difficult opponent to confront for even just armies of people. And because Shanks' Conqueror's Hockey is not only able to cover a large area, but apparently he can target it to individuals. This means that only the strongest of enemies could directly confront Shanks without being quickly defeated. Going back to the leaks, we also get a revelation about how Roger managed to find Shanks and recruit him into his crew. And it also explains one of the reasons why Roger was in God Valley helping Garp defeat Zebek and his crew. Roger found Shanks in a trunk at the God Valley incident 38 years ago. Now we don't know why Shanks' parents put him in a trunk but it was most likely to keep him safe since he was just about one year old. But there's also the possibility that Shanks really is something special. Now, it might not be possible that people knew this because he was just a year old, or maybe his parents might have had something or maybe just didn't notice anything about him at all. But we can't remove the possibility that Shanks was in a trunk, this is the God Valley incident, and not knowing where he came from really leaves the possibility open, especially given how strong he is. Apparently, Shanks also 
also has the ability to make his sword catch fire, allowing him to use flaming attacks on his opponents. Now, although we don't see this directly in the movie, we get small glimpses of Shanks using this technique in things that might be like flashbacks or something. Now, obviously Shanks doesn't possess fire powers like the Mera Mera no Mi, but it's likely that this technique is derived from his hockey, which somehow allows Shanks to emit heat from his sword. Or possibly his sword could have this natural ability, because as we know, it's possibly one of the 12 most powerful swords in the One Piece universe, along with Yoru and Bisento, and usually these swords have a very distinct attribute. For example, Yoru, which is Mihawk's sword, is allowed to make cuts at an exceptionally long distance, and Bisento, which was Whitebeard's uh, Naginata, had the power where he could use his fruit along at its tip, allowing him to create earthquakes with much more specific impact power. Now, the same could actually work for Shanks' sword, Griffin. This sword could possess the ability to heat up to the point of creating flames, allowing it to strike his opponent with a flaming attack, and allowing these attacks to be much more effective. There's also a scene described in the leaks where Shanks uses his Conqueror's Hockey so that Kizaru and Fujitora would retreat so that they don't start a fight with him near civilians, because this could hurt a lot of innocent people who are nearby. And it goes on to say that they are visibly shaken, and you can see that they do not want to clash with Shanks, because his power is just too great. I mean, even if they are two admirals, the battle for them would be way too complex. Because as has been said before, Shanks has the most powerful hockey in the world, which gives him a great advantage during combat, being completely difficult for a fruit user to fight against him because he can nullify their fruit abilities. Just think about it. Just Shanks's presence is enough to make admirals back off. I mean, even at Marineford, when Whitebeard, literally the strongest man in the world, was standing in front of them, the admirals didn't show the same fear that they've shown when Shanks uses his presence. But again, in the leaks about this movie, and even as far as we've seen in the manga, Ryukugyu and Kazaro have shown to be very afraid of Shanks, and these characters have not even really directly confronted him. But just the fact that he was present in a place was reason enough to make the admirals back off. Kazaro even said that he started sweating profusely after seeing Shanks' hockey. I mean, he himself is amazed to feel Shanks' great hockey, and wondering if it was this amazing hockey that Shanks is recognized for. As the leaks go on, we get a lot more information about Shanks' crew, and what the main style of some of his crew members are, and what their specialties are when in battle. Starting with Ben Beckman, who is Shanks' right-hand man. He's experienced in the use of hockey and rifles, and his projectiles are able to pierce the body of his enemy, causing a great injury to their body. And because of his great control with hockey, it seems that he's even able to confront admirals. Although we don't know if he could defeat an admiral, but it does seem that he can definitely fight them seriously. The leaks go on to give a little bit more information about his personality as well, like that he loves women and is also popular with them. Now, we don't know if he's fond of women as much as Sanji is. However, he may also possess a similar personality to the cook of the Straw Hats. We just don't know. The leak also says that Yasop never misses his target, which makes him the world's greatest marksman. Every projectile he throws at an enemy will hit, but that doesn't mean that he's going to actually hurt his opponents. After all, when we're talking about a projectile flying in a line, Although, yes, you could end up indeed hitting your opponent, they also can be intercepted before they reach the target. But that's not going to take away from the fact that he's the best shooter that we've ever seen presented so far. And also in this leaks, it's also said that Yasub loves to dance. And finally, we also get some information about Lucky Root. Now, within Shanks' crew, his function is a cook, which is also kind of quite noticeable and explains why he always seems to be eating something in every scene he appears. Unlike his crewmates, Lucky Root is not good at dealing with women, and we don't know exactly why. But in the leak, it's said that he is still exceptionally good at hockey and attacks like a bowling ball. Finally, let's comment on the link of an amazing scene that happens at the end of this movie. We see Shanks and Luffy fighting together in order to face some very powerful enemy, which could even be Uta, Shanks' daughter. As it's described, before the scene starts, we see Uta at a distance, and around her is a great darkness that covers their surroundings. Now, we don't know if Uta really is the villain of this movie, but it could be hinted at because of this small leaked scene. We see Shanks and Luffy combining their attacks to hit this enemy, and Luffy activates his gear fifth and Shanks his hockey, and Luffy uses a red attack that has the face of a lion, while Shanks uses a cut with his sword using his hockey that takes on the form of a bird. As this attack goes to their opponent, it comes together forming a much more powerful attack, and we next see Shanks and Luffy's serious expression, alternating between their two faces until the blow collides with their enemy. And this is when the leaked scene ends. Now we don't know how this final battle ends, but we did see that Shanks and Luffy are gonna fight together to be able to defeat this opponent, showing a new incredible 
incredible technique from these two characters. But with all that said, my friends, these are all the leaked pieces of information from the One Piece Red movie we've gotten so far. Now, even with just this little bit of information, it's already possible to see how amazing this movie is gonna be just for the fact that we get to know a lot more about Shanks' past, or even just a little. I mean, we really are hungry to know a lot more about what's been going on with Shanks. But besides learning more about our favorite red-haired pirate, we also got to know a little bit more about his crew and how powerful the red-haired pirate's crew is, and also learning the fact that we get to see Luffy and Shanks fighting together to defeat a continent enemy, something that no one really had expected to see in this movie. But because we're getting closer to the actual release, we're hoping that there's still going to be a few more leaks about this movie. And as we get more information, make sure you stay tuned with us here at Anime No Me so that we can bring you all the latest details. But with all that said, we'd love to know what you think about it. What are you most excited to think about and learn about in this One Piece Red movie? And also, why do you think Roger found Shanks in a trunk? Was it because his parents were trying to keep him hidden? Or was Shanks the object that everybody was fighting over at God Valley? And finally, what do you think is going to happen that brings Luffy and Shanks together? I mean, in the manga, we know they haven't had their fated meeting yet to finally, you know, have Luffy recognized by Shanks as a great pirate. So how do you think it might play out in this movie? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And as we bring our video to a close, I want to thank you all so much for watching the video all the way up to the very end. Be sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like or hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. I hope to see you all in our next video, and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.